Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 19. Class 19. Let's go! Beginner, welcome, bienvenidos, welcome to class 19. Beginner students, welcome. We're going to get started today. Vamos a empezar con un repaso de... Bueno, bueno estuvimos hab hablando de, de países en, y la, la estructura where are you from. Where are you from? Are you from Spain? Yes, I'm from Spain. Ask me where I'm from. Ask me where I'm from. Kyle, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Where are you from? From. Cerrando la boca. Es muy, muy importante. From. Odio ese sonido de fran. No, from. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Ask me where David Waddell is from. David Waddell from Aprende Inglés TV. Where is David from? He's from England. Where is he from? He's from England. Ask me where Richard Brown is from. Where is Richard Brown from? Ask me where Fitz is from. Where is Fitz from? He's from Ireland. He's from Cork in the south of Ireland. Ask me where Layla is from. Where is Layla from? She's from the United States. She's from California. Ask me where Alberto Alonso is from. Ask me. Kyle, where is Alberto Alonso from? He's from New York. He's from the United States. He's from New York. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where, well, ask me, ask me where, where Bisbal is from. David, or I should say David Bisbal. Where is he from? Oh, he's from Spain. Yes, he's from Spain. Where is Beckham from? You know this. He's from England. Beckham. David Beckham. He's from England. Ask me where Neil Young is from. Where is Neil Young from? Well, he's from, he's from Canada. He's Canadian because he's from Canada. Then we saw, hemos visto también, we, we have seen recently... Um, tall and short, alto y bajo, o corto, pretty, bonito, ugly, feo, fat, gordo, and thin, esbelto o delgado. Is Vienna a beautiful city or an ugly city? Answer me, please. Is Vienna, Vienna, Austria, is Vienna a beautiful city or an ugly city? It's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful city. Yes. Okay. Is Cameron Diaz... We say in English, Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. But in English, we say Cameron Diaz. A pretty actress or an ugly actress? She's a pretty... Yeah, so She's a pretty actress. Is Pau Gasol a tall man or a short man? Pau Gasol. Is he a tall man or a short man? He's a tall man. Yes. Is he a tall man or a short man? Ask me if Fernando Alonso is a tall man or a short man. Kyle, is Fernando Alonso a tall man or a short man? Re repeat, please. Is Fernando Alonso a tall man or a short man? He's a short man. He is. Yes, yes. Is Canada... A pretty country or an ugly country? It's a pretty country. It's beautiful. It is. It's a very pretty country. Is your hair long or short? Is your hair long or short? It's long. Okay, good. M mine is short. My hair is short. My hair is not long. It's quite short. Yes, 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 yes. Is Michael Jordan tall or short? Michael Jordan. Is he tall or short? He's tall. He's very tall. Yes, Michael Jordan is tall. Am I a fat man or a thin man? Do you know? Have you seen me? 
on on television. I am a thin man. I'm not a fat man. I'm a thin man. Is the Torre Picasso a tall building? A tall building or a short building? Is it a tall building or a short building? It's a tall building. It's a very tall building. Yes. Is Madonna a pretty woman or an ugly woman? I asked you this yesterday. Is Madonna a pretty woman or an ugly woman? She's a pretty woman. Yeah, she sure is. She's a pretty woman. Word of the day. All right. Time now for the word of the day. Palabra del día. The word of the day. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés cara? Cara. Face, face. Eso es, face. F-A-C-E. My face. Well, your face, my face, his face, her face. 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 Okay. También es un verbo. Se puede decir to face. To face north. My window faces north. Tiene frente al, al, al norte, I think you, I believe you say. It faces north. When I look out the window... I am looking north because my window faces north to face, face, and then cara, face, yes. And then we have to fa we could say, I have to face my problems as well. You have to face your difficulties. You have to confront them, to face them. If you have a problem with English, well, you have to face it. You have to deal with it. You have to attack it aggressively, work hard and study. Yes, so moving on now, easy and difficult. Easy and difficult. A few more adjectives. Is English an easy language or a difficult language? Well, it's easy for me. For me, the teacher, English is easy. It's easy for me, absolutely. English is easy for me. Maybe it's more difficult for you. For you. Para mí, para ti, it's, easier, it's easy for me, but maybe it's difficult for you. But um, is Spanish easy or difficult for you? En voz alta. Answer me, please. It's easy for me. Eso es. It's easy. For, is Spanish easy or difficult for you? It's easy for me, Kyle. It's easy for me. Is Spanish an easy or a difficult language for you? Spanish is an easy language for me. Repeat. Spanish is an easy language for me. Okay, very good. Is Spanish easy or difficult for me? For me, for Kyle. I'm Canadian. Is Spanish easy or difficult for me? Well, Kyle, Spanish is difficult for you. Yes, it is. It's difficult for me. Yes. Is Spanish an easy or a difficult language for me? It's a difficult language for me. Wow. Not so difficult now. At first, it was very difficult, but now, not so much. Is the Andalus accent an easy or a difficult accent for you? Is the Andalus accent an easy accent or a difficult accent for you? It's a difficult accent for me. It's a difficult accent for me. En voz alta, it's a difficult accent for me. Is the Andalus accent... An easy or a difficult accent for me, for Kyle. Oof. It's, what do you think? En casa. Well, out loud. Kyle, it's a difficult accent for you. Yes, it is. It's a very difficult accent. Muchas veces hablan sin ese. Oof. Y ni no entiendo. <laughs> Muy bien. Okay. Um, is English easy or difficult for you? Well... It's diff it's difficult for me, Kyle. It's difficult. Is it an easy or a difficult language for you? It's a difficult language for me. Okay. But for me, the teacher, Kyle, well, it's it's an easy language. Okay. Is English easy or difficult for Zapatero? Is English easy or difficult for Zapatero? Jose Luis Zapatero. Is it easy or difficult for Zapatero? Oof, it's difficult for Zapatero. Yeah, you're right. It's difficult for Zapatero. Is English an easy or a difficult language for Zapatero? It's a difficult language for Zapatero. Siempre en voz alta. Por favor, eh? en casa, en serio. Por favor. Conmigo en voz alta. 
Is English an easy or a difficult language for Zapatero? It's a difficult language for Zapatero. English, yes, 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 yes. Is German easy or difficult for you? German is easy for me. Really? Because for me, it's difficult. Or German is a hard. German is hard for me. For me, it's very hard. Is German an easy or a difficult language for you? German is a very difficult language for me. German is a difficult language for me. Mm. And for me, Kyle, is German easy or difficult for me? German is difficult for you. Is German an easy or a difficult language for me? German, uh, German is a difficult language for you. Correct. Is German easy or difficult for Michael Schumacher? German is easy for Michael Schumacher because he's German. He's from Germany, so German is a very easy language for him. It's easy. Is German an easy or a difficult language for Michael Schumacher? German is a difficult... Excuse me. German is an easy language for Michael Schumacher. <clears throat> Excuse me. Disculpa. <clears throat> German is a difficult language for me, but it's a very easy language for Michael Schumacher. It's an easy language for Michael Schumacher. It's a difficult language for you, maybe. It's a difficult language for me, but it's an easy language for him. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time from the vocabulary. Vocabulary of the day. That's right. The vocabulary of the day. Nuevo. Nuevo. ¿Cómo se dice nuevo? New. 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 Al lado de. Al lado de. Next to. Next to. Y tenemos aquí la T. Next. Y otro T. To. Entonces podemos poner los sonidos juntos. Next to. Next to. Next to. Conmigo en voz alta. Next to. Eso es. Agra agradable. Nice. 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 Secretaria. Secretary. Secretary. Tienda. Tienda. Shop. Shop. Eso es. Shop. Shop. Ir de compras to go shopping. To shop the verb to shop. Comprar cosas to buy things. But we go shopping to buy things. Okay, but we have tienda, shop, a shop, one shop, two shops. Okay, muy bien. Vamos a practicar ahora con los números. Only. Up to ten. We'll practice with the numbers up to ten. Okay, count with me. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Muy bien. Ahora un poco más rápido. One, two, three, four, five. En voz alta conmigo, por favor. En voz alta. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pronunciation. What? Ok, fíjate ahora con la pronunciación. Es muy importante. Hay que, hay que pronunciar bien la M al final de los números 1, 7, 9, and 10. 1, 7, 9, 10. No se puede decir 9, 10. No, pero 9, 10, 1. So, we will start again. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yo sé que sabes los, los números, pero tienes que practicar la pronunciación y hay que pronunciarlo bien, ¿vale? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tenemos los números pares, even numbers, even numbers, y impares, odd numbers. Okay, now the even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And the odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine. Okay, now let's count backwards. Backwards. So we have seen, hemos visto, we have seen all the numbers. We have seen the even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Even. Pares. Los números pares. Even numbers. Even numbers. And we have seen the odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine. The odd numbers. Now we will count backwards from ten. Backwards. And revés. Backwards down to zero. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Are you pronouncing well? Are you pronouncing them properly? I hope so. I hope you're pronouncing them well. Okay, let's try it again. We're going to go up all the way up, one to ten, and then back down again. Please, please. Copy my pronunciation. Fíjate mi pronunciación. ¿Ok? Y, y pronuncialo igual, si puedes. ¿Ok? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Y ahora... Bueno, estamos sin tiempo. We have 10 seconds left. Let's count down the show, and then we will finish. Okay? We will finish. Okay. See you next time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Bye-bye.